welcome to my channel pharmacypedia this is dr shikha chauhan and in this session i am going to talk about the different amendments to the medical termination of pregnancy bill 2020 so medical termination of pregnancy act was initiated in the year was passed in the year 1971 and in march 2020 another amendment bill has been proposed so this bill is still under approval so i am going to discuss in detail about what are the amendments being proposed and how it is going to help the society if you have not still subscribed to my channel pharmacypedia please do like share and subscribe to my channel pharmacypedia for getting further updates and notifications so medical termination of pregnancy act was passed in the year 1971 and this year in march 2020 amendments to the proposed medical termination of pregnancy amendment bill is proposed in the march 2020 so you know for bill to be it has to first pass from the lok sabha lower house and then it moves on to the rajya sabha and then it goes and then when once it is being signed by the president of india then it becomes the act so this is under proposal stage now let us try to understand what was the purpose of having this act this is these amendments these proposals in this session i am going to just discuss about the different amendments being proposed into the mtp act 1971 so it uh, there are specific and major changes which are going to happen and which have been proposed in this mtp amendment bill 2020 so this revised amendment bills allows for the abortion even beyond a period for 24 weeks my dear students if you have gone through the mtp act 1971 it clearly specify about after 20 weeks if anyone want to terminate the pregnancy then the person has to take the permission from the from the court so only if the court allows the mtp can be executed but it was very difficult for the people to fight at, at that stage so the, this bill has actually increased the gestation period from 20 to 24 weeks now it says that and it has being proposed that the bill allows for the abortion even beyond a period of 24 weeks for fetuses that are abnormal that is the children that are going to born with the disabilities so this is a new step so another 4 weeks have been added up to the gestation period which was 20 weeks now it has been elevated to 24 weeks so it is going to be held as a big step in the right direction so the feminist disability rights activist but somehow is criticizing it citing the reason that it promotes a certain kind of selectiveness to keep the fetus and trenched in the idea of ableism so my dear students you must note that the gestation period proposed in this bill is 24 weeks so there are many more amendment changes which have been proposed and i will be discussing them in detail so when we talk about the abortions or the medical termination of pregnancy or these reproductive rights so it remains a contested domain within the women's right movement so like we always say her body her choice the act of seeking an abortion is a political act which is governed by the state and the country and belongs to different countries in the world have different laws different rights and different pregnancy termination laws in india when we talk about the abortion or the reproductive right of a woman it flows from the parent act parent act here refers to the mtp act 1971 so this act has been amended in the march 2020 and some crucial changes have been made to it so this bill further requires approval in the ensuing session of the parliament to form a revised act now let us try to understand the different amendments being proposed so the act of 1971 stated that pregnancies can be terminated within a period of 12 to 20 weeks so beyond 20 weeks if somebody wants to terminate the pregnancy they have to take the permission from the court so it provided if there is an assent of the of the medical practitioner so you need to take the guidance from the medical practitioner and then you have to apply Uh, for to the court seeking the per permission for the termination so pregnancies that were beyond the gestation period of 20 weeks needed the assent of two medical practitioners for termination so this amendment 
which has been proposed in March 2020, now allows for the pregnancies to be terminated with the assent of one medical practitioner within 20 weeks. So, with the only previously, what used to happen? If for that you need to have two medical practitioners ex assent. Now you need to have the guidance from the only one medical practitioner instead of the two within 20 weeks. But after the two, uh, the assent of two medical practitioners will be required for termination of pregnancy within 20 to 24 weeks. So this is the change. Initially, what happens till 12 weeks with the opinion of one RMP, you can go for the termination. But after 12 weeks, tw when the pregnancy gestation period was 12 to 20 weeks, it was two medical practitioner permission was required. Now the changes proposed are like that. For, till 20 weeks you can with the help of one rmp suggestion you can go for the termination and if the gestation period is 20 to 24 weeks which was not initial before so it has been elevated from 20 to 24 weeks and within the time frame of 20 to 24 weeks if two rmp are of the point of view then you can go for the termination now in this bill a new category of the termination has been added up a separate category of the women has been created who can opt for an abortion at 20 weeks and beyond so there have been certain conditions which has been laid off uh, even after the 20 weeks the pregnancy can be terminated so the separate category for the termination beyond 24 weeks can be provided for the following reasons for example uh, in the case of rape survivors the pregnancy is the result of incest the women is differently abled the women is a minor as per the indian majority act of 1875 abnormalities in the fetus exist and have been detected during the 24 weeks period so these are the conditions these are the reasons whereby you can sort for the termination of pregnancy even after 24 weeks now, another amendment which has been proposed in the Amendment Act to MTP 2020 is that the constitution of a medical board. So, it allows and provides a suggestion for the constitution of a medical board. Now, this board will examine the need for the termination of pregnancy once the upper limit of 24 weeks has passed. So, till 24 weeks with the suggestion of two RMPs, you can go for the termination. But after 20 weeks, a constitution of medical board will be there and this will board will actually constitute of medical experts such as gynecologist, sonologist and radiologist. So they would form, form a team, a board will be constituted and they will decide about the termination of the pregnancy. Next, another amendment which has been proposed in the Pregnancy Act Amendment Bill March 2020 is the privacy clause for the protection. This is very important. It simply says that it is women's right and they have the right to protect it. So privacy clause is very important and this makes it a punishable offense for revealing the identity of any woman who is seeking an abortion. So this is her right, her permission, her body. So the act clearly says that this is a very private opinion and it should be given due privacy. So if anybody is revealing the fact or like it, it becomes a punishable offense for revealing the identity of any woman who is seeking an abortion so no registered medical practitioner is allowed to reveal the name of the patient this again is very important uh, amendment done to the mtp act 1971 so what are your views about it and to, towards the latest amendments proposed in the mtp act 1971 so th these are the major amendments being included being proposed in the latest amendment bill it is in the lower house and once it get passed these will become this will become an act so my dear students you must all be aware about the mtp act 1971 but now with the latest amendments being proposed you should know what are the latest amendments being done to the act and you should understand it thank you so much for watching the video Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting all the pharmacy related content and, and in case of any doubt or query, please revert in the comment box. Thank you so much.